Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today, uh, you know, I was uh, doing some uh, study as usual, you know, life is endless uh, stages of uh, learning and studying and reading. And I came through uh, this, this, uh, this book, which is very funny. Uh, the name of the book is called The Islamic Theory of Evolution. Uh, you know, when I when I saw this uh, name, <laughs> I could not really handle it from laughing. In the same time, I asked myself, when when those Western when they make books, like you know, it sounds like today whoever want, uh, you know, all these only really uh, real thinkers, um, intelligent person, intelligent people, high quality people used to make books. But it's very clear today that every idiot in this earth, he do that. Uh, just that you know, get some money and uh, write whatever, print it, and you know, and here we go. You have a book. Uh, but the ones who their books can survive is the one uh, people examine their books and see if they are legitimate or not. And what what we will do today? We are going to examine this book and we will laugh. And I will show you why we will laugh. You know, when you say, first of all, Islamic theory of evolution, it means this is what uh, Islam teach. Like, it, the name itself is deceiving because Islamic mean evolution is part of Islam. And you know, and I know, and everybody knows that this is absolutely false. Because the Quran, and we will show you tons of verses saying it clearly that Allah, He created Adam. Adam. He did not create a mosquito. A mosquito became Adam. He created Adam. And Adam, by the way, a word mean a man. Adam, the word Adam, for those who do not know, it mean a man. Uh, so then, what those, what the name, like where the name is coming from? If it's about speaking about Muslims who believe uh, or people who born in Islamic countries, and they believe in uh, evolution. Well, then the name is deceiving because here we go, Charles Darwin himself, he was not only born in, in a Christian country at that time, he himself was baptized. He was baptized in a church. You know, I, I did read about this uh, idiot, Darwin, and it says in here that he, uh, you know, he was baptized in an uh, uh, Anglican church. But that does not make him a Christian anyway, because very clear, he rejected the faith when he grew up. But we don't say the Christian Darwin, we don't say Christianity evolution. This is really funny and stupid. Because to say Christianity evolution, it's mean Christianity is teaching that, and then that will be that is the teaching of Christianity. So when you say Islamic, it's mean you are saying that this is part of the Islamic teaching, and all of us we knew that this is false. So we will start step by step to show how stupid this name itself, and then we will go. So a false translation he got from a book of a, of a uh, philosopher, Arab philosopher, who is 90% of his book is fairy tales, but he's called philosopher because, you know, uh, you know, this is what people consider him. You know, he was confused uh, and he mixed things up. And I see him as a crazy man in somehow. Um, maybe because he's smart, he was so crazy and so stupid. Uh, because if you read his uh, his book, uh, you learn nothing from his book except, except very, like, there is very few things of Ibn Khaldun. Uh, you you find some uh, intelligence there. And the, the rest is a, is a fairy tale story. It's like, you know, Ibn Khaldun teach like, uh, the Arab, they are patient because they, 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 they eat camel, you know. Well, if it's about eating camel, it will make me patient. What about eating donkey? That will make me more patient. That, that is very funny, you know. So, Ibn Khaldun is not a scientist for me, and I see. He have nothing to do really with science. Uh, let us say he was uh, a thinker in his time, but his thinking could not leave the fairy tales of Islam because, after all, he's a Muslim. Now let us go and examine the name of this book, and we will show you that this book is absolutely have a false name, and that is telling me that the writer is false too, because when you choose a false name, and the name have nothing to do with the book, this means you are idiot, not smart not intelligent and if you could not make a name of a book in the correct way what about what is inside the book you know what i mean 
Let us go and examine what this uh, name, uh, if it's correct or not. We will go first uh, to we will go first to chapter seven, verse number fifty-four, and we will read the translation of Yusuf Ali. I will make it a little bit bigger so you guys can uh, read it with me, and you don't have a problem with reading it. Uh, I'll just make it smaller. Here we go. All right. So in chapter 7, verse number 54, we will see that Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. Now, is that what Darwin believed in? Um, I think the answer is very clear. So the name of the book is very stupid. Let us continue. In chapter 21, verse number 37, it speak about Allah created uh, a human being in a rush. He was in a hurry. And simply the story in here that Allah, he created Adam in a Friday afternoon. And at a Friday afternoon, uh, uh, when Allah created him, Adam, he told him, uh, he was working in him supposedly. Adam told him, finish me before the sunset. And now is that what Adam, uh, that what Darwin believed? Is that really Islamic or Darwin, you know? So which one is Islamic? You know, when you call the name of the book such a name, it's mean the Muslims believe in such a belief. And, and the fact, this is absolutely false. Here we go. Let me show you the reference. All right. This is Ibn Kathir. And this is the Quran. As you see, and the Islamic website, not my website. So according to Muhammad, when Allah, he created Adam, And this is the chapter we were showing you. Uh, it says, And a man ever hasty, uh, according to Suleiman Farsi from Muhammad, etc., that Abbas ibn Abbas mentioned, the cousin of Muhammad, the story of Adam, when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when the soul was breathed into him, uh, it entered his body from his head downward. So, uh, supposedly Allah he made uh, Adam from clay and after that now he breathed into him and then before the uh, the soul reached to his uh, feet uh, you know Adam he tried to stand up okay when it reached to his brain uh, he sneezed Hachu who did the sneeze Adam so and the, and right away Adam he said Alhamdulillah <laughs> praise be to Allah fairy tale time story and Allah said, Allah answered him right away. He says, may your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. What? Who's your Lord? You know, Allah is saying to him, may your Lord have mercy on you. I thought you are the Lord. And this is telling me that the, the Quran is written by, uh, or all the, all the Islamic stories is written by a third party. I don't do with Muhammad, I don't do with God. So when, when his soul reached his eyes, he opened them. And then uh, he, uh, you know, he tried to, to, to move. You can read the story by yourself. Uh, but but before it reached his feet, he could not. So he said, "O oh Lord, make it happen before the sun, uh, before the night come." And for sure, this is a stupid thing to say because how Adam knew that uh, no, that even the sun is going to set if this is his first day, right? So it's a very stupid story based on fairy tale stories. Muhammad coming coming with it. Uh, but the the issue in here, when somebody he made a book says Islamic evolution, uh, uh, you know what does that mean? It's it's a it's a deception name, and absolutely not a true. So, uh, you know, I can show you tons of reference, uh, like, you know, Muhammad, he said, I can show you from the Quran or from the Hadith, uh, that uh, uh, Allah, he created the clay in Saturday, and he created the mountains uh, uh, in, in Sunday, you can read with me, huh? uh, and he created the trees in Monday, and he created things entitling labor in Thursday, so he created evil in Thursday, and Tuesday, sorry. Uh, uh, and uh, light on Wednesday, and that is copied from the uh, in this story here about Wednesday is copied from the uh, from the Bible too, and uh, uh, and light caused the animal to spread on Thursday, and he created Adam uh, afternoon, in Friday. So when you say to me when you make a book trying to deceive us, saying that evolution 
uh, it's an Islamic belief. I think you are nothing but uh, an atheist to try to deceive people again. Uh, so let us make it clear Islam and atheism and evolution have they, they don't fit at all absolutely not you know uh, now there's other issue with the book I was reading the whole page which is funny uh, and I found the following uh, you can read it yourself I'm going to pause the link under the video uh, so you can read and laugh so he is saying that Muslims he found that Muslims they believe in that and he is giving you the reference of this and he start uh, you know with, with a funny start he come to uh, Ibn Khaldun uh, now Ibn Khaldun uh, if you read what what uh, those people are quoting from Ibn Khaldun you will see that the translation is false and uh, based in fabrication and they are mentioning to you many names like Ali Ibn Isa uh, Muhammad Bakr Razi those all they are not people who believe in evolution because they believe in the six day creation they believe in the Quran they believe in every word Muhammad he said and everything in here is absolutely a lie uh, now if uh, uh, including Ibn Sina Ibn Sina himself is you know is, is a saint so it's a false uh, uh, false reference they have no reference whatsoever for what they are claiming and the reference actually they are mentioning it's false I, I will show you uh, uh, just a little proof about that we read in here together that they are saying that Ibn Khaldun the most famous Muslim uh, history uh, or whatever social scientist well, I don't know what make him very famous uh, you know if, if you know really what his book is about Ibn Khaldun is a very racist person and uh, his books is full of fairy tale stories and, but anyway, uh, he's famous, he's famous, you know, because somebody tried to make him famous, especially the Muslims. Uh, he wrote about uh, evolution 400 years before Charles Darwin. Now, let us see what he state, and then you will see the joke. Supposedly, this is uh, uh, Ibn Khaldun uh, uh, writing. The fact, every word in here is absolute fabrication. One should... Uh, then look at the word creation. It is started from uh, the minerals and progressed in uh, etc. You know, you can read it yourself, uh, but you will see in here what they are trying to, to make it look like uh, uh, that uh, he is speaking about uh, uh, like uh, stages of a creation in evolution. The fact what Ibn Khaldun is saying and the translation absolutely wrong. And I will show it to you in Arabic in the front of your eyes for those who speak Arabic. Here we go, it's in the front of me. That if we look at the uh, uh, how how the Lord uh, how how the how the world is created, we will see that it started from uh, metal, material, then a plant, then animal, then goes up to the human, and that uh, based on what we showed you from uh, the Quran and Muhammad teaching. So he is not he is not saying that there's an evolution in here. He is saying that uh, you know if we go and read the Hadith, let us read let us, let us read it again. So you can understand what this guy is talking because this guy he mentioned the name of Allah a thousand of time in his book. He is a believer. He is mentioning Allah name. He he, he speak about his prophet as the most amazing prophet. So uh, uh, why those people are lying? Or what he is saying simply that the God of Islam Allah he created the world in stages, and that is based on his prophet teaching, not in evolution, as we showed you. Adam was created in the last day in Friday afternoon. Let us read again. So what, what is the first of the creation? It was the clay. The clay is the material. Here we go. If you read with me, you will see here we go. He's saying the first thing he created, it was a clay. This is the stage number one. Then mountain in Sunday. Then it, cre it created the trees in Monday. And then he created things like evil in Tuesday and created light in Wednesday. And he created animals. This is the stage before the human in, in, in Thursday. And he created Adam in a Friday. What does this have to do with evolution? So you see the deception. They quote, and by the way, even a translation, not only wrong, they added words. Let me show you. Like in the translation here, if we read the, if we read in here, we will see that they are talking 
and the higher stage of a man is reached from the world of monkeys. Where where we can find that? <laughs> where we can find it? It's amazing. It's a lie. This is the text in the front of me. You know, we started from here. One should then look at the word of creation started from etc. 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 You know, where we find the word monkey, where we find all those words, where from where they come with this word from. It's a fabrication. They have to insert the word monkey in there. It's not exist. You know, I did read, uh, you know, like I did read again and again. I read the page before, I read the page after. I, I'm reading the book, uh, all, all the book again. I read the book uh, like, uh, you know, a uh, long time ago when I was a kid. I read again many times. And now today I read again because I want to see what they are talking about. Where he is saying that. It's not exist. There is no monkeys. There is no word of monkeys. There, there is no existence for that. So those fabricators, those false people, they are fabricating an issue, fabricating words, fabricating text. It's not exist. Because if you go just a few lines after this quotation, you will see he is talking about the angels, how the angels are higher in their creation from the human, how, you know, what those people are talking about. Do Darwin believe in angels? <laughs> so simply, it's a joke, it's a lie, and it's based on deception. And the funny, the Muslims, as usual, they love any idea, make 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 Islam ad advantage or advanced in in something. So here, here we go. Right away, the Muslims they come with the video saying, "Oh, Islam is the first to teach uh, 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 evolution," <laughs> and that is based in a false translation. So you know, this is why I say, if you want to learn something. Uh, uh, you need to have somebody, especially like, you know, if I want to learn uh, about a book written in Greek. The best one who teach me about what is written there is somebody honest is telling me what is written in the Greek language. It's the same as in Arabic. If you want to learn what exactly is written there, you read from somebody here, you really speak Arabic to you, giving you honest translation. A lot of those people, they are liars and they are willing to deceive anyone. And you know what? Uh, uh, I can copy the whole text right now and I want to see in Google uh, if I can find the translation of uh, 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 you know uh, of monkey just to show you that monkey is not exist you know I will copy from before this I, I hope uh, this document allowed me to copy uh, it's not allowed in me because I'm recording I want to I want to copy uh, this uh, to this uh, all right here we go but that will be like three pages if we take it it's going to copy three pages if we take it all of it to google and uh, copy it you will not find the word monkey there at all let me show you this is their their own translation you know now i'm going to copy my own i will switch to arabic and i will post my arabic text all right delete here Now I'll post my Arabic text. Paste. Now I'm going to copy this text. Here we go as it is. Select all. Uh oh, it's selecting all in here. Uh, let's copy it all of it to the end. And we will take it. Post it in Word document. Here we go. Even though it's coming funny, it's okay. And we will search for the word monkey. And we will make it match case. You see? Search key not found. So we copied in the same location they are reading from almost more than three or four pages i don't know how many huh? and nothing came as monkey there's no monkey whatsoever I, I think the only monkey is the one who made this book you know so it's absolutely a lie it's not exist it's fabrication uh and the story keep going you know like arazi is one of the scholars of the quran he have inter interpretation of the quran 
and he is a believer in Islam. So since when Arazi he became a person who believed in evolution? What those people are talking about? So the whole book is fabrication. It's a joke, and this is why I advise people not to buy books just to read. You know, be careful. There's a lot of people they they try to put uh, uh, deception in your mind, and especially if you are not, uh, uh, you know. Uh, a person who do not know much about uh, uh, about the Arabic text, they can deceive you. And the funny, the ones is posting this, by the way, is Muslim. This is a Muslim website. You believe it? This is a Muslim website. Like how the stupid Muslims, and I'm, I'm saying the stupid, not to insult, by the way. How dare you to say such a thing that uh, that Islam and Muslims believe in evolution? Like you Muslims reject your Quran. You don't. You don't want to believe in the in the six day creation of your God. We don't want to believe that Allah He created Adam on Friday. We don't want to believe, like even even the Quran teach that, and all the Muslims agree, and even including the Ar Razi, the Armenian as an example here, Ar Razi. Here we go. This is Ar Razi in the front of us. If we go and look at Ar Razi, we we, we will see that Ar Razi, uh, you know, he have a very his his own uh, understanding of the Quran, and the he he you know there is no way he will agree with the evolution. But let me show you. You know, let us make the video a little bit long. No problem. Here we go. This is the official government of Jordan, and this is Arazi. All right. Here we go. Arazi is defending the creation in six days. He is saying somebody is asking uh, or explaining, let us say, uh, about God creating everything in six days. Is that a proof uh, of uh, of the Maker? He is saying, well, it doesn't matter if it was six days or one day, uh, because the Maker is the one who made it. Uh, so. He don't believe in evolution, and he believe in six days. He don't believe in in uh, anything of that. Uh, you know, we can read all the interpretation. And by the way, I'm reading interpretation of a chapter seven, verse number fifty-four. You know, <clears throat> like in here, Arazi even answering. Somebody is saying, okay, how how the Quran is saying uh, uh, that there is a day and there is a night, and uh, before he created the sun. So Arazi is defending the creation, saying, "Well, yes, this is true, but Allah can do whatever He want. You know, Allah he, at the end He can do whatever He want. We can copy and translate in Google right away. You know, <clears throat> so it's very silly. Uh, and actually, even He is uh, He is quoting from the Torah, uh, uh, and He is saying even in the Torah they are they are they are saying the same." Let us copy, take to Google Translation, paste. Here we go. This is the English translation. Let us try to make it maybe bigger. Anyway, so here we go. He is defending the creation of six days and he is saying, absolutely, this is true. And actually, His Majesty, by doing that, he is proving that, you know, those who worship idols, he is saying to them, stop worshiping idols and follow the one. Who created everything in six days? So they are caught. They are they are posting names of uh, Islamic scholars, putting their but putting their name there, as if they are people who teach evolution. When the fact it's absolutely the opposite, and this is why I say we have to be careful about. Uh, not everyone he make a book he is a bad person to listen to. Not everyone he make a book is an innocent, or, or uh, let's say, uh, 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 you know, a person who say the truth in, in the way it is. Uh, I, I'm not going to speak for those people why they are making those fabrication, like even adding the words monkeys. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. Like uh, everyone speak for his own, but I don't speak. I speak for my own self, and I say all of this is absolutely fabrication. It's not exist. Ibn Khaldun never mentioned that, as we see in here. And look, they are repeating this even twice. Uh, the higher stage of the man reach from the world of monkeys, in which both suggestive uh, uh, preparation are found, but which has not reached a stage of actual reflection of thinking, and thinking. And at, at at this point, we come with the first stage of man, after the world of monkeys. From from where they get that, nobody knows. It's a lie. It's a joke. So, uh, just I wanted to share this uh, with you guys. And uh, I know the video became so long, but you know, uh, it, it's just uh, it was a must to explain and to show people that this is absolutely a lie.
And by the way, I have no problem with Muslims believe in evolution uh, because uh, Muslims anyway, they are lost. Believing in Allah or believing in evolution, it's the same. Uh, but maybe if he believe in evolution, he will not go after us and kill us, you know. He will stop following the Quran and uh, maybe he will become like Stalin, a killer too. Uh, but at least, uh, you know, he will, he will, he will stop. Uh, he, he will be a different kind of a stupid person, you know. We know how to deal with them, you know. Like atheists, just give them some beer and open a bar for them. They will leave you alone. Muslims, uh, you have to open for them a bar of camel urine. And uh, you have to provide them with suicide bombing vest. Uh, so the, there is no way to satisfy Muslims. Uh, atheists, they are filthy, but they are less uh, stupidity. Uh, I don't know if we can say less really, but I think they share a lot of things. You know, actually the atheists and the Muslims, they share a lot of things. The atheists, they believe that uh, a human is coming from ape or monkeys, whatever you call it. The Muslims believe that uh, Allah made the monkeys from the Jews. And this is again proving that this is whoever says such a thing that Islamic uh, theory of evolution is a joke because Muslims believe that even the rats, Muhammad, he said that Allah created the rats from the Jews, the pigs from the Jews, the monkeys from the Jews, not the opposite. So it's very silly, very stupid. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Uh, see you more with more videos. And uh, if you want to read and learn more about Islam, read real books. Get my book, The Deception of Allah. From Amazon.com if you like to learn. So until we see you with more videos, wish you a good luck. Thank you very much.